Hey Prospectors, it's Matt here from Payload Studios and today I'm going to be showing you how to use some of the new Circuits and Systems blocks. If you're new to Circuits and Systems in Terratech, we have a whole tutorials playlist on how to use them. You can find that up there. So let's kick things off with the new gauges. There are four new gauges. The altitude gauge, the fuel gauge, the power gauge, and the speed gauge. These blocks convert their measured variable into a circuits and systems signal value. For example, the speed gauge converts your current speed into an output signal of that value. So here, I'm sat at about 50 kilometers an hour. And as you can see, the altitude gauge is outputting a signal value of 50. A really fun use of this can be found in Somnolence's speed mini game. If the bus goes below 50 kilometers an hour, it explodes. Now we're taking a look at the new sensors. There's the angled beam sensor and time of day sensor. For a full breakdown of how circuits and systems sensors works, check out the tutorial video. It's this side, here it is. Now there's the repulsor pad. When it receives a positive input signal, this block will propel any tech unlucky enough to be placed on it. The field strength can be adjusted to affect techs of different sizes. And then there's the actuating platform. This works in the exact same way as the actuating gate and RAM. Again, the full tutorial can be found up here, but it's big enough to hold small to medium sized techs. Better Future actually got their own circuits and systems block in the form of the anchor controller. When it receives a positive signal, it turns on, thus activating the anchors on your tech. There's also the special mixed silo, which outputs a signal equal to the number of resources stored in it. There are four tech movement controller blocks to talk about. Tech movement controller, tech movement axis controller, tech rotation controller, and the tech throttle controller. The tech movement controller does exactly what it says it does. When either point on the block receives a positive signal, it moves your tech in that direction. A great example of this can be found in KN's RC car minigame, but the other three control specific movements of your tech. For example, when either input on the tech rotation controller receives a positive signal, your tech will rotate in that direction. Let's move on to the key binder. This detects when the assigned input key is interacted with, and outputs a positive signal while the key is held. So there you have it. What super cool techs are you going to build with the new circuits and systems blocks? Let us know in the comments. And until next time, prospectors, thanks for watching.